And now to lacrosse and John Grant Jr. I like to call him the Peyton Manning of lacrosse, a guy who's getting up there who still has it, still competing and dominating at the end of his career. I caught up with the Outlaws and Mammoth star player and the Valor Christian star coach to talk about his career and the explosive growth of the game here in Colorado. John Grant Jr. shoots! Since 2000, I've been playing professional lacrosse, and what a dream. I've been all over this world. Right up front, Grant behind the back, he scores. Still love being part of a team. Good job, Grant Jr. The Bulldog. Down the center shot. He scores! Oh, a play by Jr. It's coming to an end. Um, I still love doing it. There's a tremendous amount of pain involved um, to the point where it's starting to become uh, you know, not as fun sometimes. Not as fun sometimes for John, but for those who watch him, man, is it fun to see. Can they still score it? They do! Grant Jr. on the edge! A 41-year-old ageless wonder. Lacrosse fans in Denver are lucky to be able to see one of the best of all time right here in person, in the twilight of his career, but still making his mark on the game he loves. Now I've kind of morphed into more of a leader role type guy and really if I can still score some goals and get some assists here and there and help these guys you know grow into to better young men that's kind of what I'm doing. Swings it around Sieverts in front doorstep score John Grant Jr. His dad a lacrosse hall of famer Jr. playing the game oh, since he junior, was in diapers. Look nobody is getting John rich Grant playing junior. pro lacrosse but being able to make a living doing it is enough. You really play for the love of the game. Yeah, you get paid, but it's not like you're sitting back and going buy beach houses and stuff when you're done. Like, you're giving back. Most of them do, are doing it while they're playing. You're doing camps, you're doing clinics. Doing everything you can to stay in the game. John is the head lacrosse coach at Valor Christian. In his first season, he took the Eagles to the state championship game and won the trophy. The championship with the Valor team might have been the greatest experience I've had in lacrosse. I mean, I've, I've seen my dad win championships. You know, I've won 19 or 20 of my own, but something about, you know, helping these young guys achieve that elation um, and not having any control actually on the field. Soon John will be just a full-time coach and when I was young, no longer a full-time player, but that day has yet to come. He still wants another championship with the Mammoth or the Outlaws before he's done. The butterflies are there, like it still drives me to want to help put rings on guys' fingers and, you know, my role's different, but my love for the game hasn't changed. All right, John says lacrosse will only grow in popularity here in Colorado and parts to the West as well. He expects an explosion in California because of the weather, and lacrosse in the West will soon rival the East before we know it.